Nicki Minaj has always been a celebrity who keeps where she lives under pretty tight wraps. While she may have simply done that because she loves her privacy, it could also be because she's always been renting and had yet to find her dream home to purchase. While Nicki's Los Angeles rental mansions were as big and bad as you'd expect from the rapper, it seems that she finally pulled the trigger, purchasing a property to call home at the end of 2022. Her crib was newly built last year and it didn't even have a chance to hit the market before Nicki snagged it for $19.5 million. Located in the guard-gated Hidden Hills community, her modern farmhouse spans a reported 12,000 square feet of space that's full to the brim with luxury amenities. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After years of leasing lavish mansions, Nicki Minaj has purchased a home of her own. In December 2022, the rapper paid $19.5 million for a newly built modern farmhouse estate located in the coveted and guard-gated community of Hidden Hills, Los Angeles. This neighborhood is well known for its abundance of celebrity residents, namely a lot of the Kardashian-Jenner clan, but also the likes of Madonna. Donna, Jessica Simpson, Will and Jada Smith, Lori Lawlin, Sylvester Stallone, and most of the LA Rams' current roster. Safe to say Nikki will fit right in with this level of celebrity. Hidden Hills is set into the Santa Monica Mountains right next to Calabasas, where Nikki has been living for the last little while, in a hilltop mansion she rented alongside her husband Kenneth Petty and their son. Nikki's new home was built in 2022 by a local developer and clocks in at 11,820 square feet of space, with eight bedrooms and 10 baths throughout. Since the sprawling, trendy farmhouse mansion was never officially on the market and Nikki snatched it up quickly before it could list, photos and details of the premises are hard to come by. However, we do know some major features of the place and we can see the style and stunning exteriors. Outside, Nikki's new mansion sits on a lot spanning just over an acre of land and out in the backyard, you'll find a separate full guest house and a poolside cabana. Of course, there's no need for a poolside cabana without a pool. So there's also a gorgeous saltwater swimming pool with spa and even a Baja shelf to sunbathe easily. When it comes time to entertain, Nikki's mansion is perfect for the job, considering that aside from the indoor common spaces, there are also a handful of patios and terraces branching off from the main house. On the grounds, where there are no amenities, there's plenty of grassy lawns and eye-pleasing landscaping surrounding them. And other features we do know about include a three-car garage and inside, the estate boasts expansive walls of glass on the main level. Think pocketing glass doors that open to reveal the seamless indoor-outdoor vibe. Meanwhile, Nikki's impressive master suite also offers a private balcony overlooking the entire backyard. The former laid-back country community full of horse ranches that is Hidden Hills is now a magnet for the uber-wealthy and Hollywood royalty looking for residential solitude. With Nikki's clear love for keeping her home life as private as possible, it seems that she'll fit in here just fine. Nikki is also a fan of massive homes, and we can see that in the string of rentals that she's lived in over the years, which closely resemble palaces when looking at the size. With her husband Kenneth and their son, word is that Nikki has been currently living in a rental mansion in a gated Calabasas community. What we know about this home is that it was built in the 1990s and follows a Mediterranean style. Inside, there are marble floors, six bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and over 10,000 square feet of living space. She has shown glimpses inside from time to time, such as this one, posing in the home's grand entrance hall that often featured as the backdrop to her Instagram photos. It has a set of wooden double doors with carved glass panels on the side and marble floors underfoot. Then during a look into her kitchen, we could see Nikki in front of a large glass fronted cabinet displaying a selection of plates and china. Fans even got a peek inside Nikki's living room at Christmas time and this space Space boasts high ceilings and large windows overlooking the garden. The couple has a comfy window seat here to take advantage of the view and have minimalistic decor with white walls and the same half wall paneling as seen in the kitchen. As you would expect, the grounds here also boasts a swimming pool lined with sun loungers and with amazing city views. 
However, this is far from the only home Nikki has lived in. After years of renting huge homes scattered across the LA area, from Beverly Hills to Malibu, Nikki did finally put down some roots. But let's look at some of her formal rental homes that we know about. After overcoming a difficult upbringing and establishing herself as one of hip hop's biggest acts, by 2016, Nicki Minaj was about as successful as you could be. In August of that year, she and her then boyfriend Meek Mill decided to play house by moving into a gorgeous Beverly Hills mansion, paying around $35,000 a month in rent. This gigantic home was built in 2008 and was constructed on the site of old Blue Eyes Frank Sinatra's former residence. Today, this home features over 10,000 square feet of space and this honey colored chateau is prominently perched on top of an embankment overlooking the gorgeous Beverly Hills. Of course, it boasts some amazing panoramic views, not to mention things like a five car garage, perfect for housing Nikki's luxury wheels at the time. The overall aesthetic of this place is sure to impress. It offered romantic architecture and perfect landscape, giving it a Mediterranean vibe like many of the best California mansions. And moving to the inside, Nikki's former home featured eight bedrooms, all of which were extravagantly spacious and bright. The master suite even came complete with his and hers bathrooms, as well as its very own private terrace. The accompanying walk-in closet here was so enormous that you simply needed to see it to believe it. Meanwhile, terms like sleek and modern only began to describe this mega mansion's incredible kitchen that featured built-in cabinets alongside a movable ladder for those hard to reach shelves. Bonuses like that would be perfect for things like organization. And also on the property, there's a guest house with a further two bedrooms and a shared bathroom that can be accessed through either a separate individual entrance or from a balcony on the second floor. And did I mention that out back, there's a sprawling lawn alongside an exquisitely designed pool and spa combo and a built-in barbecue pit? Yep, all in all, this place looks like at one time it was Nikki's own private slice of heaven. Once her relationship with Meek Mill came to an end, Nikki began dating her eventual husband, Kenneth Petty. Now, most of you probably know Petty best for the wrong reasons. You know what I'm talking about. Which has seemed to haunt him even once he moved to California to be with Nikki. In order to avoid a lengthy jail sentence of around 10 years, Kenneth eventually registered his new address. And guess what? This home that he reportedly shared with Nikki was every bit as impressive as her old one. Located in the Los Angeles neighborhood known as the Flats, which is in within walking distance of Nikki's old stomping grounds of Beverly Hills, this $10 million home featured six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and a total of around 7,000 square feet of living space. So the smallest home by far that we know of. Anyways, the bright and dramatic interior featured some truly stunning scale and volume. We're talking 14 foot ceilings, 10 foot tall doors, not to mention walls made out of windows and a ton of other details that give the home a unique look and feel. But I wouldn't expect anything less grand from Nikki. Upstairs, Nikki's master suite not only had a luxurious bathroom, with dual amenities and two giant walk-in closets, but it's also got its very own auxiliary office space as well. And the second bedroom suite upstairs is almost as big as the first. So how do you choose which to settle into? The mansion also boasts a spectacular living room with built-in fireplace and skylight overhead, along with an unbelievable formal dining room. The open plan family room flowed into a casual eating area and through glass out to the terrace, while there's also another wall with fireplace here. This space and the attached kitchen came with the perfect indoor outdoor flow, leading the way to the massive and totally private sun-filled backyard. The kitchen was kept a bit simple but still boasted stainless steel appliances and there was a gorgeous sunny breakfast nook with walls of glass that take in the view of the pool. Out back, there's that stunning pool and spa combo with a whole bunch of spaces for entertaining as well. Finally, there's also a separate guest house nearby with its very own gym. Well, after seeing what we could about Nikki's new home and what's reportedly her first real property purchase, that's gonna wrap up today's house tour. Thanks so much for tuning in. And before you leave, answer this question for me. If you you were a multimillionaire, would you choose to buy and invest in properties rather than leasing a home even if you didn't find any you loved? Let me know in the comments if you would wait it out like Nikki for your dream home or see your property purchases as investments along the way. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss a drop. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, follow me on Instagram to talk, and if 
you'd like to check out another tour before you're finished, then stay tuned for this one. Here we look inside another famous female rapper's home base. I think you know her, Cardi B. I'll see you all next time. Bye.